You know, I've uh, started thinking lately that it just might happen that the Democrats barely hold the House, but actually lose the Senate, which is the opposite of most people's predictions. But <clears throat> the state that I'm going to talk about today is one of the states that makes me think that that might be the outcome. This is West Virginia. Uh, as some of you may know, that's where I'm from. It's an Appalachian state, a poor and largely rural state, and it's got a suddenly fascinating Senate race, as you may have read about. The Democrat is the incumbent governor, the sitting governor, Joe Manchin, incredibly popular governor, 70-something percent, running for the seat uh, that was held for many years by Robert Byrd. Robert Byrd, of course, as you know, the longest serving senator in the history of the Senate, first elected in 1958, died earlier this year. Manchin announced his intention to run. It was thought that he was going to waltz in. Uh, but then, lo and behold, the political situation in West Virginia is a little bit more volatile than that. The Republican candidate is a man named John Racy. He's from my hometown of Morgantown. Um, he has been living mostly in Florida in recent years, but that doesn't seem to be getting in the way of anything. Suddenly, some polls come out in the past month. It's a very tight race. Some polls even show Racy ahead, even though Manchin has this 70% approval rating. Why? The answer, obviously, is that Barack Obama and the Washington liberals are very unpopular in the state of West Virginia. And so, Racy and the National Republicans have come up with a very effective line of attack. Joe was a fine governor. Uh, he's a pretty good governor. Let's keep him as governor. But if we send him to Washington, he's going to do the socialist Muslim bidding of those socialists and Muslims in Washington. I'm John Racy, and I approve of this message because I won't be a senator that's a rubber stamp to Barack Obama. I'll only serve you. It's been working until just this week. Uh, the Democrats somehow got a copy of a casting call for a television commercial that a National Republican committee was making, uh, which put out an advertisement for blue collar hickey types of actors. This hasn't gone down so well. Now you can imagine if this, uh, if the Republicans had caught the Democrats doing something like this, it would it would be wall to wall, nonstop madness. It's still a pretty big story. It's the lead story in in the West Virginia media, uh, as I speak. Uh, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how much this undercuts the effectiveness of the message of the ad, because the ad I thought uh, was very good. Uh, and we'll see if this just just ruins the whole approach. And if it does, then John Racy is in some trouble. Now, the other new issue in this race, Manchin needs, of course, to achieve, as they say, separation from Obama and from the Washington Democrats. How to do that? How to do that? How to do that? Well, how about sue the Obama administration over mountaintop coal mining permits? Uh, it's not something I'm necessarily wild about personally, but politically, a pretty good idea. Manchin announced the suit Thursday. So we'll see whether that manages to rebut Racy's argument that Manchin is going to be too tied to the Obama administration. So this is one of the hottest Senate races in the country, definitely, right now. Uh, and if John Racy wins this contest, then it may well be that the Democrats uh, lose the Senate. Uh, all the experts were saying after Christine O'Donnell beat Mike Castle in Delaware in the Republican primary that the Senate was out of reach for the Republicans. I actually say, not necessarily, and this is one of the states to watch.